the winners of Best Sound uh, for Bohemian Rhapsody. Congratulations, everybody. We have John Casali, Tim Cavigan, Nina Hartstone, Paul Massey, and John Walhurst. Please come up on stage. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. This is fantastic. And, you know, Thank you. expected, Thank you. I think. <laughs> 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 Easy for you to Where on earth do you start with creating a soundscape for a, for a film about Queen? John. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny. Well, Johnny. We, we always knew that Live Aid was... Completely off mic, John. Uh, you have to remember. You're completely off sound guy. You should know this. No, I'm going to There we go. Um, so, we, we always... Uh, when, when we first saw the script and saw that the film ended with Live Aid, uh, we knew that that was going to be the big scene. We knew that was going to be difficult to create. Um, the one thing that you, I mean, you can go on YouTube and you can actually just click on the link and watch uh, Queen perform the Live Aid set. So we were all discussing about what can we do that's different to, to just watching it on YouTube. Um, and uh, that, that's when we started sort of chatting about how, how it was going to be filmed, how we were going to create it and... and yeah, what we'd do. That was definitely the most difficult part, along with um, trying to um, work out how to sort of match the performance that Rami did um, uh, using whatever vocals we could find, which was Nina. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, yeah, so basically, for Live Aid, it's obviously, it's all... <laughs> Thank you, Sam. <laughs> it's all um, Freddie's vocal, but we used uh, pieces from Rami. Rami did an amazing job on set obviously recreating Freddie's performance and uh, so it, it's Freddie and Rami that you hear and they're just to tie it into his mouth. As you've sort of touched upon, there is so much footage out there of Queen as well. So how extensive was your research? How much deep diving did you do? Well, we were very privileged to be able to work from the original multi-tracks uh, of, of all the live recordings from Queen and all of the uh, archive material that they had. So. Um, that was a huge challenge just in itself, not to mess up the iconic Queen sound in trying to recreate it. Um, and, uh, and so we, we had an awful lot at our disposal where we could go back to almost every concert they've ever performed. It was great. Do you have to approach a film differently when it is a musical compared to something else? And how? Why? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so, um, well, because, yeah, they're, they're singing and normally they're talking at the set as well. So, um, but uh, with this, we had to um, record Rami's singing, his vocals. So, it's a, you know, a mix of herbs and spices to get, um, to get it to sound like Freddie, but coming out of Rami's mouth. So you do have to approach it in a slightly different way. Um, but, um, but these guys did an amazing job in the post. I mean, no, amazing job, really. So remarkable. They did. It was they incredible. They really did. Um, I'd like to open up to the audience. Anybody got any questions for the sound guys? No, I know. Oh, okay. Thanks. Oh, okay. Nat. Thanks, Ron. Hello, congratulations. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Uh, this is obviously a difficult one, but you had a change of director halfway through. What does that do to production, and how did that affect your role in it? Um, well, uh, we, yeah, we, we did have a change of director halfway through, but, but actually um, everything that the cast and crew was doing at that time, from, from one week to the next, there wasn't actually a lot that sort of changed really because Rami and, and all the cast and all the crew actually just showed, showed up back, came back to work the next day and just carried on. And it literally did just sort of carry on without the sort of being much of a change. Um, because And it's those moments that you realise how many people are actually involved in making a film like that and you know so we're only talking about one one person that changed out of hundreds of people thank you is there one more question here yeah thank you i enjoyed your uh, you're going to do the freddie chant on stage weren't you <laughs> <laughs> why didn't they go with it yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly exactly um, you mentioned obviously working with brian and uh, and roger here tonight just take us through that process because as a sound guys are they coming to you sort of Questioning things or just offering up suggestions is it a healthy working relationship? They, they, I mean, they were always on board with the whole film right from the beginning. And uh, they, they sort of offered you know, to, to let us go to the studio to have a listen to um, all their material. They've got a great team, um, Justin Shirley Smith uh, and Josh McRae, Chris, Chris Fredrickson, um, who are their engineers and have an extensive knowledge of the archive. And uh, they let us go to the studio and just literally listen through to lots of things 
And so, and they, they were there right from the beginning, and then they were also there right in the final mix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, um, I mixed the music uh, for the film in, the, in post. And so, um, they, f for us, it was partly an education to give to them, to, to bring them into the theatrical world, because they're used to the record world, obviously. And then my education was to get them to tell me how they wanted it to sound. So it was a very collaborative uh, and, um, and very pleasant, to be honest. Great. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us Thank and congratulations you. again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.